The Lord showed me recently that there is a deep stirring taking place in many right now. It is a deep groan. It's the stirrings of a groaning that is deeper than they have ever experienced before. I saw this deep groaning, this deep stirring, it is travail, it is a birthing, and it is imperative that you make room to lean iron to this stirring. Do not lean away from the stirring. Do not allow the past to keep you from leaning in. Do not allow the voices of others dampen the fire that is beginning to burst forth. In the deep stirring of what is so new to you and the questions and thoughts that flood, what is this going to look like? What I am experiencing and the deep stirring I am feeling is birthing in me something I've never experienced and leading me in a way I've never been. Do not allow the voice of fear to have a place. There is a new paradigm of your destiny that is being birthed in your right now. Allow the tears to flow. All the travail to do what it is meant to do. Surrender yourself completely to the work of the Lord that is taking place deep within you right now, for He is bringing you into another realm of fullness of your destiny, and it is a place you've never been or walked in. But the depth of encounter with Jesus and the move of His Spirit awaiting you in this new place is unprecedented compared to what you have seen before. I heard the Lord say, In the birthing room I have brought you into right now, make room and go slow, protect what I am doing within you. It is imperative that you lean into what the Lord is doing and allow the groaning to come forth. You must be tender and slow in this moment to what the Lord is doing. The Lord showed me that these stirrings and these birthings that are taking place right now are for the positioning of His people for such a time as this Esther 4.14, to partner with the Lord in what He is doing in the earth right now. There is to be no room for assumption or presumption, but complete yielded surrender. You are going where you have never been. All provisions will be taken care of. Those who are to walk with you will be brought to you. The hand of the Lord will sovereignly move to bring all things together, He is setting the stage, but the place of surrendered yes to these new stirrings, groans and birthings are not to be ignored. The Lord showed me that these groanings, these stirrings are getting stronger. Do not contain them, allow them to flow. The Lord is breaking the fear of man. The Lord is birthing courage within you. The fire is getting stronger and stronger within you that it is breaking the chains that have contained you. You have been assaulted, attacked, rejected and not understood for so long, but the Lord is bringing you to a place of personal understanding and clarity for what He is doing within you and the position that you shall now take in this season in partnering with a move of His Spirit. His voice through you will get louder, and his voice through you will confront old wineskins and paradigms, but that is not an indicator that you are to withdraw. You are arising with the new sound of his heart that is coming forth. No longer will you walk to the beat of the drum of others' expectations, but you will arise with a boldness, overtaken by his heart, his fire, his passion and vision, and not be able to help but speak. You will walk to the beat of his drum with a greater conviction and fire. As you lean in, in this moment, lean into the groanings, to the stirrings, and go slow and low before the Lord, the Lord showed me that you will spearhead a move of His Spirit. This is a pioneering moment where God is birthing through you what has not been seen before. The specific instruction, the specific detail of what the Lord wants you to build with Him and how to move with Him in the manifestation of what He is birthing is being given to you and great courage, and strength is being released to you through the empowerment of His Spirit. The Lord is bringing the right people to run with you, and you will see your heart expand carrying His fire, His word and His love like never before. Lean into the groaning. Lean into the stirrings. Make room. Allow the creativity of heaven to burst through you. Do not look back at what was or what it is supposed to look like. Obey the Lord. Pay attention to the creativity and vision being given to you in the groaning and the stirring, for there you are seeing into the new the Lord has for you and to release through you. You're going where you've never been before and His glory and power that awaits will astound you. You are being extended and invited into a deeper partnership with the Lord in the new thing He is doing, Isaiah 43, 19, to see His glory revealed and a mighty proclamation of the gospel and harvest come in.